what a lot of people believe is that it's going to protect you from ever getting infected. That's not the case. Uh, you can still get infected, but what happens is, is that the symptomatology or the, the side effects of that infection will be greatly diminished. So instead of you being hospitalized, perhaps, maybe you're only you know, coming down with the flu and you stay at home. A lot of people would say, I got the flu shot and it didn't help. I got the flu anyway. What we don't know is how severe that infection would have been in the first place. So that's why for people who are immunocompromised, I generally recommend it to get the flu shot. Or people that are exposed to a lot of flu because exactly. like, like you, you work in the ICU. Right. But it, it, and if I may, like, do you, um, do your kids get the flu shot? Yeah, we give them the flu shot as well. Um, it's more because they're the kids of doctors who might bring home the flu Got it. Um, and, and more than anything else. But uh, there, there was a point where we were not doing it. It, it. When they're in their teenage years, that's when we start actually giving them the flu shot. That was just a personal opinion, even though I know it's uh, approved up down to six months of age, I believe. So you started your kids once they were in their teen years. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I remember one year our our, uh, our son uh, Ryan he he uh, he got some some virus I don't know what it was but he had very bad diarrhea, and uh, we had to take him to the uh, to the to the emergency room to actually get an IV and get fluids into him. He was very dehydrated. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was rotavirus, but uh, something was going around that year. So, and he's perfectly healthy. So this is something that can happen. 